What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to fix the FH202 unsupported graphics card detected error that you could be receiving when you're trying to play Forza Horizon 5. Though, do note, before we even try and begin this video and troubleshooting the issue, your PC may be too out of date. If you bought your graphics card and or computer a very long time ago, do check to see if it is compatible with the game. And if you're not running an NVIDIA or AMD dedicated graphics card, more likely than not you're not able to run the game at all, such as running integrated graphics that just aren't powerful enough at all. So unfortunately, if you're one struggling with that, unless there's a specific workaround for your specific bit of hardware, which you can find on Reddit and other sites, you're kind of out of luck here. But let's assume that you have a 1050, 1080 or something like that and you're still receiving this error when you absolutely should not be. Well, what exactly could be going wrong? If you're using an external GPU in something like a laptop or notebook, do make sure that it's attached properly, drivers are properly installed and if you're experiencing issues in other games, it's more than likely the connection or something down the line. And speaking of laptops or notebooks, something you can try is making sure that the game is running on the correct graphics card in your computer before we get too drastic. All you have to do is navigate across to where the game is installed. If you own it on Steam, right click it, then hover over manage and click browse local files. When you get here, you'll see Forza Horizon 5.exe. Click at the very top up here and it'll be copying this address. Then hit start, type GPU and open graphics settings. Inside of here, we'll make sure to select desktop app from the drop down here, then click browse, paste the link at the very top and double click on Forza Horizon 5.exe. The game should then be added to the list where you can click on it, click options and make sure to select high performance over here. Otherwise, if it's on any of these other two options here, it may be trying to use your integrated graphics card instead of your dedicated one, not allowing you to play the game at all. If you own it on the Xbox store, you can select the Microsoft store app then select the app from the list here, though I'm not too sure if this will include everything. Well, there we go, there's Forza Horizon 4, add, options, etc, etc. Steps are mostly the same. Once you've done that, you should be able to launch up the game and things will work properly. It's super simple. However, if you have a dedicated graphics card in your computer from either Nvidia or AMD, it might not be detected in Windows. You can hit start and type in device, open up device manager, and inside of here, head across to the display adapter section and you should see your graphics card slash cards appearing in here. If they're not, you can try downloading and installing the official drivers from either Nvidia or AMD for which you'll find links in the description down below. Upon installing drivers, things should work properly. If they don't, however, something you can try and do is a complete clean reinstall of the graphics drivers using a tool called DDU, Display Driver Uninstaller. This video is not going to feature a guide on it as it's rather in depth, but after completely clean reinstalling your graphics card drivers, things should be working properly in game, especially if you have a supported graphics card. But anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching, my name's been Technobay here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!